Hello my readers of the realm, my name is Shay, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Today is Wednesday, which means it's new comic book day. I don't normally review comics on my channel unless they're very, very good. So today I want to talk to you guys about a comic called Monstrous by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda, and my apologies if I mispronounce those names. But first, before I start my review, I want to give some special announcements. Number one, this happened. Number two, I'm going to Vegas for a couple of days and I will be vlogging, so expect to see some vlogging episodes on this channel. And number three, when I come back for Vegas, I'm going to do a Q&A video. So if you guys have any questions for me that are book and sundry related, then you can leave the questions in the comments below, or you can use the Twitter hashtag AskShay, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions in celebration for reaching 1,000 subscribers. So now let's talk about the comic book, Monstrous by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda. Here it is. This is the trade paperback of Monstrous by Image Comics. It was released this year and the author Marjorie Liu also did work for NYX, Astonishing X-Men, and X-23. I actually heard about Monstrous last year back in November when the first issue hit shelves. It immediately grabbed my attention with the cover. I held it and I actually read the whole issue while I was in the comic book store, but my favorite part about Monstrous was reading the author's note towards the end where she explains her reasons, the making behind Monstrous, and her reasons really resonated with me and I definitely support her reasons for it. So that's the reason why I waited until the trade paperback came out so I had all the issues and a nice binding cover. So what is Monstrous all about you ask? Well let me tell you. Monstrous is about this young woman named Mika Halfwolf who lives in a dark bleak world that is divided between the humans and the Arcania. The Arcania are these creatures that are non-human that have animalistic features such as having wings, feathers, fins, or fur. The humans and the Arcania have been at war with one another so they share a very long and bloody history. History. The story opens up with Micah as she's being auctioned off to the highest bidder in the room. You'll notice immediately how Micah has this symbol that is branded on her chest, which shows that she is symbolically and literally branded and imprisoned by these high royalists that are called Kamea. The Kamea are these royal elitists that like to study, experiment, and even torture the Arcania in search for powers and magical abilities. So we get to follow Mika as she tries to uncover her past and her story of revenge. As Micah slowly uncovers the clues about her past and the people who were involved in it, she finds herself in a downward spiral of death and destruction as she realizes that there's this monstrous entity that is living inside of her. So quickly before I find myself in spoiler territory, I'm going to give you three reasons why I love Monstrous and why you guys should read it. Number one is the storyline, number two is the artwork, and number three are its characters. The world that Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda have created is a very dark and grotesque one that mirrors our own, but this world also has a mixture of steampunk technology such as airships, Egyptian and Eastern architecture, and grimdark fantastical creatures. This world is a very rich place that's filled with terrifying and beautiful panels, which is my second reason why I loved it, and that is the art style. Sana Takeda's artwork is simply breathtaking. She brings you into this world using certain colors to let you know what the readers getting themselves into. It is very grotesque and graphic, but Sana does a wonderful job showing the beauty and the terror all on one page panel. The color palettes definitely bring this world and its characters to life, which brings me to my third reason are its characters. Marjorie Liu did a fantastic job bringing a wide variety vast of characters to the forefront of Monstrous. You have the witch nuns who are these powerful witches who are also intelligent and they can see into the future. And then you have the main protagonist Micah who is a actual flawed and complex character who is struggling with her identity throughout the storyline. Marjorie Liu uses these characters for under underlying themes that call to our attention. She uses the Arcania, who are these deformed creatures. She uses the Monstra and its emblem and what it represents and these supernatural beings. And they all call to our attention to things that we should recognize, such as race, class, and sexism. Not to mention there are cats. These fecal creatures are known to be thieves and untrustworthy, but they also share knowledge and wisdom throughout the storyline. And one in particular called Master Ren helps Micah in her journey. And Master Ren is one of my favorite characters in Monstrous. Aside from Kippa, Kippa has definitely sold the show for me. Monstrous, in essence, is a tragic story that I'm going to continue to read. If you like grimdark, steampunk-esque fantasy mixed with emotional storytelling and talking cats, then I encourage you guys to read Monstrous by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda. If you want to learn more about the author and the artist, I'm going to put their website and their Twitter in the description below. And if you liked my comic book review of Monstrous, please give it a thumbs up and click subscribe for more book fantasy goodness. Bye!